The immune system consists of several diverse elements that interact to counteract pathogens and cope with the antigens they express. Antigens are taken up by antigen-presenting cells which process the antigen and present it to T-cells. The T-cell may have differentiated into a Th1 cell which releases cytokines that activate macrophages. The macrophages go on to remove the source of antigen. If, however, the T cell has differentiated into a Th2 cell, it activates B cells. These produce more antibody, which binds with antigen, leading to its removal. As the antigen is removed, the B cells continue to generate antibodies, which feed back onto the B cell and signal a shutdown in antibody production. Cross-linking surface antibody and antibody bound to FC receptors for IgG inhibits further antibody synthesis. The effectiveness of these systems depends to some extent on the genetic makeup of the host. Specifically, there are genes that determine how well antigen-presenting cells process antigen, the variety and specificity of the MHC molecules and associated peptides that are formed, the diversity of T-cell receptors needed to recognize a wide range of antigens, and similarly, the diversity of antibodies. Even the relative population levels of Th1 to Th2 are genetically determined. The ratio of one population to the other will govern how the immune system will respond to antigen, either preferring antibody production or macrophage activation.